We are the champions. We are the champions. No time for losers. Cause we are the champions of the world team India. Hello everyone and welcome back. How are you? So, my name is Nitzan Steinberg. I'm Grandmaster from Israel. And today, my dear viewers, we will reach the conclusion of the Chess Olympiad 2024 with 11 and the final round of this prestigious tournament. You know, the proud winners of the men's tournament are the incredible team of India. Thanks to Gukesh, Pragananda, Ari Gaisi, Vidit and Hari Krishna. They made it happen. Huge congratulations to the strongest team in the world. And I will not be exaggerating if I would say that might be the strongest team in history. A group of four players who take no prisons, playing with humility and teamwork like no other. I admire you, Team India. And now, let's take a look at a game from the only player we haven't analyzed yet in this tournament, my favorite player in the world, Pragananda. So the last round, India got Slovenia and in the second board of this match we have Pragananda with white pieces against Anton Demchenko, very strong grandmaster and let's see it so d4 d5 c4 d takes c4 the queen's gambit accepted not f3 not f6 e3 e6 takes c5 castle knight c6 knight c3 until now you know everything is logical and this position were already uh, you know so much games were played in this line a6 just to play the move b5 with bishop b7 but uh, Pragananda is just playing the move bishop d3, he's going back. Now c takes d4, e takes d4 and bishop e7. Of course, if you are asking yourself why not to take the d4 pawn, just knight takes d4, queen takes and bishop b5 check. a takes b5 and queen takes d4. We are up a queen and just winning position, right? So, bishop e7 was played, bishop g5. Now castle and rook e1. Here also you can ask yourself why not to take the pawn on d4. But just knight takes, queen takes and another time. Bishop takes h7 now. Knight takes and queen takes d4 with queen up and winning position. So knight d5 was played. h4. Pragananda. My best move. You know h4. I so like this uh, move here h4. You know after bishop g5 the point is just knight takes g5 with attack here, bishop h7, queen h5, knight takes d5, you know, maybe knight h7, so many things here, not so easy of course, but it's really interesting for white. So h6 was played, uh, knight takes d5, queen takes d5, bishop e4, queen e6, and now bishop e3, uh, you know, makes sense, uh, these two bishops are doing just perfect here, rook c1 will come, a3, b4 maybe, this h pawn maybe will be on h5 with bishop b1, queen d3 in some ideas here, so let's see, bishop d7, queen d2, I can tell you that I really like this move a3, because maybe black will try to play queen b4, or maybe knight b4, knight d5, something like this, and a3 it's looking very interesting, and you know like prophylactic move here, but he played the move queen d2 and now f5 was played, bishop f4, and also bishop just coming back to c2 with bishop b3 and after it bishop f4 because this e6 pawn will be weak so bishop c2 is interesting move the point here that after f4 you're just having the move queen d3 and attack because after f takes c3 just queen h7 check king f7 and here bishop g6 i think king f6 and just take the pawn right maybe with f f takes and rook f1 with 95 check Checkmate, right? So this king on f8, f6 is just a, a very bad piece. As you can see, rook h8, for example, just rook f1, 
Rookie is 7 and 85 checkmate on the board. Just amazing. You know, it's it's difficult to see. Uh, but bishop c2 was an interesting move. He played him with bishop f4 uh, in 3 minutes of thought. Queen b4, bishop c2 now. Takes, takes. And bishop f6. And in this position, I can tell you that, okay, it's it looks fine for black. Rook a d8, bishop f4. Also bishop b3 or bishop c3. I don't know. Something around this one. Um, also bishop b3 because knight takes d4, just knight takes. Bishop takes and bishop a5, I think. And this position is losing uh, because b6, just rook takes d4 and rook ed1, right? Yeah, that's it. Here, just bishop takes e 6 Winning absolutely for white. So he played the move, yeah, bishop f4 takes, takes, yeah. And now rook ad1 was played, rook ad8, now uh, bishop f4. Uh, as you saw, bishop b3 maybe was a, a little bit better. Bishop e8 now, just bringing the bishop to h5 and also uh, opening this d file. Rook takes e6, knight takes d4, knight takes d4, rook takes d4 takes, takes, and rook e7, attacking this pawn on b7, R bishop c6, bishop e5, takes, takes, g6, h5, takes, takes, this position should be a draw, but it's not so easy to, 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 to convert it, because as you can see, this bishop is strong piece, but these two pawns are weak, right, so let's see what uh, Demchenko have in mind there. Rook d8, bringing the rook to the uh, file, to the open file, and of course to d2 square to attack this um, row of, um, of pawns. Bishop e6, king g7, now rook takes h5, rook d1, and rook f2. And this position should be a draw. g4 was played, and you know Prague is claiming that I have two pawns here, and I will, I will push them. I will play uh, something about king g3, king h4, f4, rook f7, uh, sorry, and yeah, maybe some ideas here, but let's see. Bishop e8 was played king g3, rook e2, bishop b3 coming back, b5, rook c5, and now the rook is coming to the c7, and also f4 is pushing, let's see. Rook e7, f4, king f6. This was a mistake, but of course not so easy to understand why. Because, you know, the best moves here was a5, just to play for a counterplay. a4, b4, rook e2, something around this one, he must play... Uh, as fast as he can because king f6 is, is a waste of tempo rook c8 now a5 rook b8 and rook e3 king h4 was played a4 bishop d5 and now king e7 f5 as you can see white is is better uh, you know like he's playing faster than black rook e5 was played rook b7 check king f8 this was the the last mistake probably king d6 uh, more active here was was the best after bishop g8 the point that h5 you have and this is not so easy move, of course, because f6, just rook e4 you're playing. And the point is that after f7, rook takes g4, I don't know, king uh, h5, rook g8, so rook king h3, bishop takes f7, bishop takes and b4, and this should be a draw. Also, don't forget that rook against a rook and a bishop, it's a draw. Not so easy, but it's a draw. Of course, I, I think Anton Demchenko uh, familiar with how to do a draw there. So king f8 was played. This was a mistake. Now bishop e6, rook e4, and rook h7. Take this pawn and take this pawn, of course, rook h7, rook a7. Yeah, and that's it. White is just clearly winning three pawns up. Pragananda, you know, it, it doesn't... It, what can I tell you about this Prague? He's just an amazing player, okay? He's just an amazing player, one of the best players in the world. I really want him to be one time uh, the world champion. But in this tournament, uh, he was in the second board of India and it was not so easy for him because he played like against Wesley So, Sindarov, uh, Amin Tabetabe, Yu Yangi, Leko, Abbasov, Sarana, uh, Banuj, you know, with just the best players in the world and also Anton Demchenko. So, he, he, he performance very strong with 6 out of 10, uh, but of course, you know, he, he just bring the opportunity for Ari Gaisi to da just uh, be incredible in his 3 board and, uh, you know, to, to achieve a very important wins there. So, Pragananda also gives a very important win in the last round of this tournament and, you know, I really want to tell you guys that India already won the title one game before, you know, in the 10th game after they won against USA, they just achieved the tournament, right? They took the medal, the, the, the gold medal, and they, you know, they promise for them to do their best every single game. And this is something that you, we really need to learn from them because this is a sportsman, right? 
every single game to be in, in their best. And you know, they, they just kick out the, the opponents in the last round and just amazing to see. You know, I, I think Pragananda, Arigaisi and Gukesh uh, maybe just, uh, you know, only Magnus can beat them. Uh, it's, it's amazing how, how they're uh, progressing in chess, uh, how they're understanding the, the psychological things um, and, and also, I can tell you that there are also opponents, right? There are rivals in some ways, but how they are playing together, how they are smiling uh, to each other after the games, how they are celebrating this tournament, just amazing, you know, like it's Barcelona, Messi, Xavi and Iniesta. This is the team India. And, you know, for me, it's a, it's a honor to, to speak about them. It, they're just doing perfect. I really hope for Gukesh to win uh, the world champion match uh, against Ding Liren because, you know, this is the future. Gukesh, Prague, Ari Gaisi and amazing to, to watch them. So don't forget, if you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe my channel for more chess content and, you know, Team India, gold medal in the Chess Olympiad 2024. Thank you everyone for watching with me this tournament and we have so much things to learn so see you soon in the next videos bye bye